Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ng challenge na iyon. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Una una we have Andre. Andre is a statistics student of the Rizal Technological University. He performed during the Sea Games when the games were held here in 2019. He loves watching series and anime. Sunod naman we have Gabby. Gabby is a business administration student at UP Diliman. She's currently a member of UP Aguman, an organization of Kapampangan students at UP Diliman and the UP Career Assistance Program a BL org that focuses on the career enrichment of college students, whether within or outside UP Diliman. If she has the time, she enjoys playing Valorant and Sky Children of the Lights. Next, we have Lulu. Lulu, a curious lover of the arts and sciences, enjoys too many hobbies, creating art, reading, writing, swimming, watching shows, and playing video games. She loves music, animals, the stars, and cold weather. She's an architecture student at USD and works as an artist for its official student publication. And finally, we have Miraz. Miraz is a statistics student of UP Diliman. She has a bookstagram where she shares her love of books. Her family has four dogs and two cats. Her hobbies are watching sitcoms, being a plantita, and going to cheap or free concerts. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology, UP Manila. We also have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. And we also have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History here in UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Kaya naman, let's begin! This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In what city did Sebastian Zimmerman Duterte become mayor in 2022? Miraz. Davao City. Davao City is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. Kamala Harris is the first female vice president of which country? Miraz. United States of America. United States of America. K check. Question number three. Guts is the title of the 2024 World Tour. Miraz. Olivia Rodrigo. Guts is the title of the 2024 World Tour of Olivia Rodrigo, a Filipino-American singer. K-Check. Question number four. In 2001, Barry Bonds set a major league record when he hit 73 home runs. In what sport? Andre. Baseball. Baseball is the correct answer. K-Check. Question number five. Which sliced spicy pork or beef sausage is the most popular topping on pizza? Lulu. Pepperoni. Pepperoni is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. Green Hill Shopping Center remains on the USA's counterfeiting watch list, joining other notorious markets for fake goods like China's Shanghai and the Hirapana in India. In what city can you find Green Hills, Gabby? San Juan City. San Juan is the correct answer. K-check. Question number seven, which country has overtaken Japan as the world's number one car manufacturer in 2024? Andre. Hulu. Germany. The answer is incorrect. Miraz. Italy. Italy is also incorrect. 
Miyagi. USA. USA is also incorrect. The correct answer is China. Question number eight. What former capital of the province of Rizal is known to be the shoe capital of the Philippines? Andre. Pateros. The answer is incorrect. Gabby. Marikina. Marikina is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What word may mean to move in panic or to mix together or to stir eggs for frying? Mirage. Scramble. Scramble is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. This time in astronomy, the Hubble telescope revealed mysterious shadows on the rings of what planet? Gabby. Saturn. Saturn is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11 in mental math. What is the average of 35 and 39? Gabby. 37. 37 is the correct answer. K check. And question number 12, the last question for this round in medicine. TB is short for what respiratory ailment, Lulu? Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round one. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, ito ang scores natin. Gabby and Miraz are tied with 40 points each. Si Lulu naman ay may 20 points at si Andre ay may 10 points. So contestants, meron tayong portion dito sa show uh -huh. na mas kinikilala natin ang background ninyo. Ito Correct. ang... Kay Chica. Chica. Simulan natin kay Andre. Andre, tell us about your experience performing during the 2019 SEA Games. Ang um, una po, ano, di po kami makapaniwala nun kasi may pumunta po nun sa studio namin na nagre-recruit daw po for sa SEA Games po na sasayaw. Then, nung nagkaroon po siya na ng audition, hindi ko din naman po in-expect na makakuha ko since madami din po akong kasama na magagaling. Then, nung nandun na po kami, sobrang saya din po na ma-represent din po yung sarili kong bansa kahit sa way na po na pagsasayo na. So, ano nga ba ang ginawa mo during the SEA Games? Nung sumayaw po kami nung time na nagkaroon po ng performance bago po pumasok yung mga contestants. Mga athletes mismo. Yes po, mga athletes. Sample. Ito <laughs> <laughs> yung sa Philippine Arena ginawa, no? Yes po. Tama. Ito namang katukayo ko, si Gabi. Ikaw naman na magkwento about yung org mo because um, actually very active sa extracurricular. Ito isa dito yung career assistance program. So how does that work? Uh, Bali, you, you pick career assistance program or you pick up po is an organization of business and economic students in UP Diliman. Bali, uh, we cater to um, high school and college students and guide them uh, with career opportunities with our various events spanning the whole school year. Meron ba yung tendency to push them towards economics and business ad? Um, no po. However, uh, most of the companies po, uh, for example, the sponsors, um, are more on the FMCGs or the conglomerates. So, um, there's a tendency to have more um, opportunities for business and economic students. However, we are currently expanding our reach uh, to cater to other um, courses as well. Galing. Puno lagi yan kapag may mga ano kay events, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, especially um, the career fair every February or March. Okay, thank you so much, Andre and Gabby. Later naman makakausap natin si Lulu and Miraz. Mm -hmm. Pero round two naman tayo. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! -check. ang ating karunungan check and at this point we have Gabby and Maris tied for the lead with 40 points each followed by Lulu with 20 and Andre with 10 points. Yes, so tuloy tuloy natin ang ating kay Chica. Ngayon naman si Lulu, bakit mo naman nasabing you have too many hobbies? Also as someone who loves the cold weather, miss na miss mo na siguro ang cold weather. Go ahead Lulu. <laughs> Ayun, like in my free time back then, and dami kong ginagawa like nag mostly video games and then I do a lot of writing then, I read a lot. So most of my childhood and teenage uh, years, puro hobbies siya. So parang na-develop ko din yung skills ko dun. 
about the cool weather. Sobrang init lately. Miss ko na po yung cool weather. <laughs> Anong ginagawa mo para cool pa um, I have a hobby which is also swimming. So that kind of cools my bodies and um, na natatrain ko din yung body ko for uh, fit, for sporting ganon. So it's a, it's a hobby and, and it and it's a workout that I really love to do. Swimming, swimming tayo. is a good idea. <laughs> really, really good idea. Na may silong ha. Ayo umitim. Si Miraz naman daw has a bookstagram. Ano ba exactly? What is a bookstagram? Ako ngayon ko lang naririnig yung bookstagram na yan. Miraz, can you explain? Basically, it's an Instagram account po, pero mostly about books po yung pinopost ko. How often, one, how often do you post on that particular account? And what is the handle, handle of that yeah. account? Um, my handle is at Booked Iris. And um, no unang beses po, halos daily po ako nagpo-post since nag-gather pa po ako ng audience and ng mga followers. So, mas maganda if super active po ako nung una. Pero now po na medyo um, comfortable na po ako sa number of followers wow. and followings ko po. Um, usually, more, the most post I do is two times a month na lang po. How many followers do you have anyway? Um, more than 2,000 po. Sige, follow okay. natin yan. Yeah. Let's Correct. follow that. And so now it's time for round two. So contestants, Get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize because in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. Meaning excessively concerned with oneself. What is the common one-word title of a 2011 single by Britney Spears and a 2024 song by Justin Timberlake? The correct answer is selfish. Question number two. What is the surname of the leader of a church known as the Kingdom of Jesus Christ? Lulu. Kiboloy. Let me proceed. Who was ordered by the Pasig Court to be arrested last April? You said Kiboloy. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number three. In 2024, the Moriones Festival was held during the last week of March. On what island province was the Moriones Festival held? Lulu. Mindoro province. Mindoro province is wrong. Anyone can steal. Gabby. Sorsogon. Sorsogon is strong. Anyone can steal? Andre or Miraz? The correct answer is Marin Duque. Question number four. In what modern day country can you find the center of the Roman Republic which ended in 37 BC? Miraz. Italy. Italy is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Which common microscopic fungus is used in making bread fluffy? Miraz. Yeast. Let me proceed. And in the fermentation of beer. You said yeast. That's correct. Key check. Question number six. What country's Formula One Grand Prix was held at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia in 2024? Andre. Singapore. Singapore is wrong. Anyone can steal. Correct answer is Spain. Question number seven. Mike Tyson was 20 years old when he became the youngest heavyweight to win a world title. In what sport did Tyson set this record? Miraz. Boxing. Boxing is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which actor became famous for playing the roles Albert Einstein, Charlie Chaplin, Sherlock Holmes, as well as... Iron Man in the movies. Miraz. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What do you call the hollow muscular tube that carries food and liquids from the throat to the stomach? Gabby. Esophagus. Esophagus is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. On what island can you find the provincial capital cities of Dumaguete and Bacolod? Gabi. Negros. Negros is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In 2022, 
Which singer was diagnosed with stiff person syndrome? Lulu. Celine Dion. Let me proceed. Almost three decades after being famous for the single Because You Love Me and My Heart Will Go On. You said Celine Dion. That is correct. K check. Last question for this round, number 12. In food, what do you call the popular avocado based dip for chips that has its origins in Mexico? Umabot. Gabi. Guacamole. Guacamole is correct. K check. And that ends round number two. Maraming salamat, Jules. Kamustahin naman natin ang points ng ating mga contestants after round two. Well, we have Miraz with 120 points in the lead, followed by Gabby with 90 points, Lulu with 50 points, and Andre with some catching up to do. Pero syempre, hindi pa po tayo tapos. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. At this point, Miraz is in the lead with 120 points. Gabby has 90, Lulu has 50, and Andre has some catching up to do. But at this point, it can be anybody's game dahil may paparating pa na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marla. Thank you. In science, what term refers to the transfer of heat energy through the movement of fluids such as air or water? A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Insulation E. Advection Correct answer is B, convection. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, before digital photography, what material were films made of? A, paper. B, celluloid. C, metal plates. D, nylon. E, pixels. Gabby. B. Celluloid. You are correct. When films were still made from film, the material was called celluloid. Okay, check. Thank you. May, may tie na tayo so far. Tie si Gabby at saka si Miraz. Alright. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay, in cultural history, what Philippine town is famous for its fertility dance rites? which are held every May 17 to 19. The choices are A, Lukban, Quezon, B, Obando, Bulacan, C, Angono, Rizal, D, Pulilan, Bulacan, or E, Balayan, Batangas. Lulu, Obando, Bulacan. From May 17 to 19, along the banks of the Angat River in Obando, Bulacan, Childless women sway to the Santa Clara melody. People with special requests flock to this town to pay homage to its three patron saints. Santa Clara, patroness of the childless. San Pascual de Bailon, if seeking for a spouse, or oh, take note. And Our Lady of Salambao, patroness of the fishermen. The correct answer is B, Ubando, Bulacan. Okay, check. Next round, Prof. Marla. What are the building blocks of DNA? A. Nucleotides B. Amino acids C. Monosaccharides D. Fatty acids E. Proteins The building blocks of DNA are A. Nucleotides Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question. Okay. <clears throat> 
Who painted the Last Supper on the dining room wall of a convent in Milan, Italy? A. Banksy B. Donatello C. Raphael D. Michelangelo E. Leonardo da Vinci Andre Leonardo da Vinci Yes, you are correct. Um, and it was commissioned, not graffiti. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof Lu, go ahead. Okay, Women's History naman. Who is the first female Filipino to be named National Scientist? A. Incarnacion Alzona B. Yelia Castillo C. Mercedes Concepcion D. Fedel Mundo E. Lourdes Cruz Fedel Mundo She was a Filipina pediatrician who founded the first pediatric hospital in the Philippines and was known for shaping the modern child health care system in the country. Aside from her national scientist recognition in 1980, Fedel Mundo was also the recipient of the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Public Service in 1977. The correct answer is D, Fedel Mundo, K check. And we are halfway done. Let's do a scores recap, Attorney. Yes, at this point, Gabby and Miraz are still tied for first place with 120 points. But Lulu is catching up and she's there with 110 points and Andre with 30. So, medyo nagdidikit-dikit ang points ng ating mga contestants. And we still have 180 points sa susunod nating mga rounds. That's Kaya, right. kayang-kaya pang mag -iba. Anything can happen, yes. Kaya, simulan na natin ang third set of questions, Prof. Marla. Okay. In chemistry, what is the chemical symbol for iron? A. F. E. Gabby. F. E. Let me continue. B I R C I N D A U E S N. The correct answer is A F E K check. Sigurado ng sigurado si Gabi sa sagot niya. Talagang conviction eh. With conviction ang paghampas. Sana to lo yang leading ngayon. Oh, hindi pressing the buzzer ng tama. Hinampas ang buzzer. Okay, up next we have Prof Sophie. Thank you. For what film did Jacqueline Jose win the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival in 2016? A. Itanong mo sa buwan. B. Marosa. C. Serbis. D. Sarong Banggi. E. Biyaheng Lupa. Lulu. B. Marosa. B. Marosa is correct. Um, actually, um, Miss Jacqueline Jose, may she rest in peace, um, was the very first Filipino actor to win in that category at the Cannes Film Festival. Thank you so much. Uh, Prof. Lu. Okay, Philippine history tayo. Who was the Filipino politician who founded the Iglesia Filipina Independiente? or IFI A. Apolinario Mabini B. Trinidad Pardo de Tavera C. Felipe Buencamino D. Pedro Paterno E. Isabelo de los Reyes He was a prominent Filipino patriot, politician, writer, journalist, and labor activist in the 19th and 20th century. He was the original founder of the Iglesia Filipina Independiente in 1902, the first ever Filipino Christian church in history. The correct answer is E. Isabelo de los Reyes. Thank you. And attorney, we're done with the third set of questions. Pero may movement sa scores natin. May movements indeed. While Gabby is still in the lead with 150 points, nasa second place ngayon si Lulu. With 140 points, Miraz is in third place with 120 points, and Andre with 30. Yes, for this last set, meron pang 90 points na pwede yung pag-agawhan. Okay, simula na natin, Prof. Marla. Thank you. What instrument is used to visualize detailed images of soft tissues in the body 
using magnetic fields and radio waves. A. Endoscope B. Ultrasound machine C. X-ray machine D. MRI scanner E. CT scanner This instrument is used for disease detection, diagnosis, and treatment monitoring. Uh, MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. So the answer is D, MRI Scanner. Thank you, Prof. Marla. So may 60 points left. May 60 points left, but it's still anybody's game because ang liliit lang ng difference na points. 150 for Gabby, 140 for Lulu, 120 for Miraz. Yes. With two more questions, it's still pa yan. anybody's game. So let's go let's for the go. last two questions, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. In the visual arts, probably the most well-known work of Japanese art is Hokusai's The Great Wave of Kanagawa from 1831. What technique was used to make it? A. Oil painting B. Tapestry C. Woodblock print D. Watercolor painting E. Photography Oh, um, I'm sure you've all seen the great wave of Kanagawa in some form, yes um, the technique used is woodblock printing. So there are many, many copies of this priceless work of art. Thank you. So here we go. Last 30 uh, points na lang yes. for this last question. Let's see. Let's see. Prof. Lu? Salamat. Ang huling katanungan natin ay sa kasaysayan ng Asia. Zhang He was the commander of China's treasure ship during the early Ming Dynasty, trading and collecting tribute in the Western Pacific and Indian Oceans. How many voyages did he make to accomplish this mission? A, three, B, four, C, five, D, six, E, seven. Walang gustong mangkula. Medyo mahirap sagutin. From 1405 to 1433, the Chinese Admiral Zheng He led seven great voyages unmatched in history. The so-called treasure fleet traveled to Southeast Asia in India, sailed across the Indian Ocean to Arabia, and even visited the far-flung shores of East Africa. The correct answer is E7. Thank you so much, Prof. Lu. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Gabby, our K-Check Daily Winner. With a <laughs> final, Mabuhay ang mga Gabby. Gabby! With a final score of 150 points. We'll see Gabby again tomorrow when she competes with her other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. So maraming salamat then to Andre, Lulu, and Miraz. And also to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Sophie, and Professor Liu. So this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako po si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! Check.